there's an old saying, you can't tell the players well without a program. Uh, in the same way, you can't really tell what American politicians are saying without some form of a dictionary. Now, when they evoke memories uh, of the past, it's good to know what are they doing? Where does that come from? For example, when uh, uh, John McCain says, uh, I'm not a front runner. Well, where does that come from? Well, obviously that's from racing. Uh, and horse racing gives us so many metaphors uh, in politics. Bolt, you know, to leave the party. Well, a horse can bolt. Or a dark horse, an unexpected Bloomberg kind of candidate, maybe. Uh, that was from uh, Benjamin Disraeli's novel about uh, uh, politics. And shoo-in, well, we would say somebody's a shoo-in. That comes from uh, corrupt jockeys deciding on a horse that uh, they want to win that's got a huge uh, uh, odds against them, and they kind of shoo in that horse, and he's the only one trying to win the race. So when you hear uh, this candidate is shoo in, it, you get a little reverberation there. Now, you see with uh, some issues, when they change, the language changes. What has been the major issue in the past year? Uh, Iraq and uh, cut and run, a sailing term, versus stay the course, uh, which was uh, either a uh, sailing or a r racing term. But now we're not talking so much as cut and run and stay the course. Uh, we're talking about the economy. And the phrase that occasionally we hear now is uh, a dead cat bounce uh, when uh, the market goes down and then comes back up a little bit is it on the way back up or is it like a dead cat bouncing kind of a cruel metaphor uh, so we see these issues changing and so you wonder this language they're using where, and the pundits are using and the reporters are using where is it coming from what is it intended to evoke and that's what a dictionary like this is, is designed for now, I used to be a speechwriter, uh, and then I was, a for 35 years, a pundit. I've worked both sides of the street. Now, uh, that makes me, to use a new word, post-partisan. Not bipartisan or nonpartisan. But when it comes to language, uh, I'm a post-partisan. And I, uh, I'm not looking to push a, one ideology or one candidate. I'm looking to push the language and uh, if you can understand this new language then you can enjoy politics more and you can appreciate what politicians are trying to get across or to hide or to obfuscate or to tell what's in their heart.